ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opposite. I'm Yado and I'm your guide through this channel. So what are we going to talk about in this episode? So we will talking about the whole crypto market and like you know, um, it has some melting temperature out there in crypto space. <laughs> Not only there, but mainly because it you can watch your money melt for the moment. This is nothing really bad at least. This is what's happening. The market has some good times, some bad times, some heavy and some low times. So, and now it looks like this is some red time, but it is summer. People joining their lives, people use the money to go on vacation, to join outside with family and friends, to do some chill and relax time. This is something that's pretty matter uh, for your whole personality. This is definitely a good thing. And I would say now let's have a look about what crypto market is really showing. For that we go to our friendly gecko. So CoinGecko is showing us our first project, second project. Definitely on a down walk, but like you see, this is nothing bad. All are in a down walk. Red, 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 red. Top 20 positions are in red. Uh, the first 26 positions are in red. This is heavily only the 27th is a green one, but at least in the seven days, well, very nice movement. But like you see, uh, the, the biggest projects by market cap have a negative way. And this is not that bad at least. Why? Because like I told, this is summer, everything walks down, everything keeps cooling up. So we'll see where it's going. I think the possibility that in July there will be one more pump all over in the market mm -hmm. is definitely there for the traders. It's very interesting for the investors. Yeah, it will be just, yeah, just some walk up and down, some pump and dump, but not really matter to yeah, hop off or so on or hop on. At least it will be good for trading so far. Uh, the real positive market or let's say the tradable time and investors time it will start around September, I think. I know many people are talking about the DeFi summer and so on. I don't really think that it will be like this. Why do I think so? Because this, this is a cycle. Uh, it tells that if you go right through the cycle, it would mean that Bitcoin is going to be to 20k. So this would mean kindly $13,000 more on the downwalk. And right after that, it will be able to pump again. For that, I want to show you on Bitcoin here on our friendly gecko. What does it mean? So there you see, I give it the positive sign all over the market. Like you see, 40% are definitely negative about it. Uh, these are the people I think who are looking for technical analysis. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a look about the 118 days chart. Don't know, so, uh, let's go on the one year chart. So I think maybe it will be better to see. So like you see here, shoulder, head, shoulder. I think everyone who's working with TAs is able to know what this means. And this also means that this can't be the bottom at least. We'll see where it's happening. I think like I told around July, there is maybe some positivity around, but Everyone knows the point of a bouncing cat. This is kindly something like this. It walks up, looks very good, and it falls down. Now I think, yeah, technical, if you, if you have a technical look about it, it should be around 20K. It will be over and will going into, yeah, how should I say? It will going into normal trading times again. The bull cycle, in my opinion, isn't over till now. It will go in further. Yeah, many people are thinking it will be over in September. Some talk in October, some thinking in December. I think definitely 
it will go into the next year, so 2022. So, and why do I think so? Because the, the technical support, the, the, the use case, many projects are already so far and on working on two use cases. The easiest way is e-commerce, look at SPI, so shopping IO. It's already usable, kindly like Amazon so far. Well, of course, it's not that big now for now, but maybe they will go in incorporation or something like this and will go big like this. So keep this in mind. This means something really strong and it's not over. It's just another cycle. Let's go to the max chart only for to, to see what it means. Like you see, the, the massive pump of 2013 is not seen here kindly. It looks like there, been, there were nothing. And the next ones, look how short this one's looking right next to this ones. That's the reason why I'm thinking the possibility that this ones will gain further into the next year because the cycle is starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And now on, this is only talking about Bitcoin. The whole market at least shows so much strength. There are already some projects out there which which are real outperformers. And even though there will be some projects will do some revolutionary ways of using crypto into real life. So in my opinion, the strength to going up higher and higher for, uh, how should I say it? The next year, so the next, let's say 12 months is definitely there. So maybe uh, Bitcoin will not move that fast into the upward anymore because there are more useful projects out there. That's the reason why I even to think that Bitcoin uh, will not hit 120K around this bull run. Many people think different. Some people already say that it will go to 20, 10K. So <laughs> I don't know. My opinion and I'm looking from the opposite is that Bitcoin will go maybe 220k, but not above. This is this would be yeah n not my my way of thinking and not the way uh, this market should go. I think because it's much better to give the use case the priority and not just uh, the the money to get it trending. This is senseless into the future. So we'll see what it's doing at least. Possibility of good gains is definitely even though there. Like you see from now on, up to 120K would mean you get three times of your investment. So <laughs> it would be also very nice, no? Okay, and now let's go to our Twitter account. So what's happening there? There is one project updated video in the last time, so um, let's say the last three days that I really like to see how they did and how they acted very nice they look pretty strong their idea behind uh, NFT gaming and and gamify definitely cool ones we'll see what they're able to do the most priority is on the Pika coin definitely air yeah. thunder is also very good ones and for NFT it will be a pretty matter thing to have some ripe to get some rare tokens at least. It has something kindly like sheep, Shiba Inu. If it will go next further this would be crazy because just easy to get some cool numbers <laughs> about some price range. Rai, if Rai goes kindly around leash so anywhere close together the peak of leash were close to 10k already this would make some crazy moves where is it now it's around four dollars for the moment so haha <laughs> this would be really crazy at least so like you see here sometimes i also like to do some jokes postings or meme postings let's say and some informations for young investors traders so far and only to get a better investor knowledge about it it's not the end solution so far but always just some hints step by step to find your own way in trading space because oh i think it's not the right idea to follow each point 
Why? Because it would mean you didn't have to think by your own. But it's pretty matter to think on your own how to invest, what to invest. It will keep you further because of, yeah, it's your money, your risk, your choice. So very matter, pretty matter and <laughs> very interesting for yourself to know what you're doing. <laughs> Good, let's go to my opinion about the market era, uh, around uh, this episode. I think really the market will go in into some accumulation so far, let's say. May, I, I, I really think it will go down to 20k Bitcoin. Why do I think so? Because it would be very healthy at least for the recovering over the next part till next year. Why do I think so? Because... First of all, it gives many people some good en points of enter. Many people are already looking for some alternatives to Bitcoin because you know you're in the safe haven when you go into a stable coin like USDC or Tether or so on. This is definitely something good, but at least you will be also able to know maybe some project which is already bottomed or still starts and is very good at use case and utility points and they doing maybe some yeah pretty awesome promotion this would mean this project is definitely uh, a very good chance alternative as you want for Bitcoin to invest why do I think so because when this ones go down the other ones go up and yeah there is always in every red market there is always some green underdog this is something you you really learn when you are trading over the last couple of years or investor over some years there is always one who's going the opposite and this is the matter thing that's why i do these videos and i call this channel the opposite <laughs> Okay, so hope you got some good information. What are you thinking about the whole crypto market for the moment? Because like you you also could, was able to see about CoinGecko to see uh, right at the top, the minus 7.8%. Kindly crazy, this is pretty much down for a whole market so far will be very interesting leave me a comment give me a feedback or something on you know we will we are straight on the way to our first thousand subscribers i will do a giveaway when we hit our first thousand subscribers according to a little yeah just say competition so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and enjoy your day mm -hmm.